let's start a new recording. Make a randomly generated room? Yeah. Well, that's what I'm doing. Randomly generated... Oh, a randomly generated area, depending on the room. Well, what do you mean, depending on the room? What's to depend on? What does the room decide? If you came for for random randomly generated dungeons, you came to the right place. Cause that's what that's what this is all about. Okay, so that's index one. Jeez. Uh, I may need to flip this. See, I don't know how he's gonna hold this. I don't know how this is gonna look when he holds it. Yeah, that's that's what I'm doing. Just regular uh, dungeon or uh, random dungeon stuff. the thing with the stuff oh right I need to make an effect for the sword swinging mm, okay I'll get to that uh, right now just the... here we go I'm just gonna call it Scythe because it's easier. Okay, let's load up this. Pick up. Okay. So now we're gonna fool around with our. Let's do this first. Let's go here. So if it's melee, I'm gonna do the same thing we did with the throwables. Okay. 
Okay, so there's only two. So that's taken care of. Weapon pickup spray. Okay, so this should be scythe. Okay, that's good. Okay, so I think that's all set. What did you wanna what did you wanna know about the random dungeon generation? I could show I could show you what I got in a second here. I just gotta make sure uh I got this wired up. If you knew how to make the game, decide where to put what, depending on the room. Yeah, I, I, I guess I don't really understand what, what exactly it is you want to do. Like, what do you, what, what do you want to arrange? Like, what, is this a top-down? Is this a side-scrolling? The kind of random generation you'll, you'll do will kind of depend on that. Like, my game uses kind of a hybrid, like I have rooms that I make, that I pre-make, and then there's rooms that are generated by the game, and I kind of mix the two. Because eventually I might want to do like puzzles or something, something like very specific. So I, I would have to make a, a, a room, a special room for that. See, like, that's the thing, there's no concept of rooms in my game, like, the, there's just one room, and the game just builds whatever it is, so, in my game, it doesn't build the room based on, it doesn't build the level based on the room, I just, I have, I have scripts that tell it, like, how to generate the room, so the room is just an empty vessel, it's just, the room doesn't actually do anything. So I'm not really sure what you mean, like, how the room dictates. Okay, so I need to go to the player. And look at... Stars 
a scythe. So let's use that. Make this actually do something now. Um, let's see. Is it funded? Funded. Oh, I just want to go back to bed now. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm making a weapon. Uh, where was it? This a chainsaw scythe. Room five would pick a random environment object and place it at XY. An enemy at XY. Room six would spawn those at different locations. So it just sounds like you're just saying like if you if you have the point of random environment generation isn't to say, yeah, y y just random locations. If you know exactly where they want to be, then you just tell the, you just, dr you know, you draw the room exactly how you want it. Um, you y you want to look at you want to look at stuff like rules. You, you want to like make rules. Like level one doesn't spawn uh, explosive barrels. Level three spawns explosive barrels. So what should level one spawn? You know, something else in its place. So you'd set up a script and it just has a bunch of if statements to check, you know, what level am I? Okay, so I spawn this. And then you spawn it. And that's basically, I mean, that's the simplest form. You could, you could make pre-built rooms and then just say, just choose between six different rooms randomly. And that would be the the easiest way to do random generation if you know exactly how big your rooms are and like where the doors should be like that's how this game started like it wasn't random generation it was just like i made pre-built rooms and just shuffled where the rooms were uh placed in the level okay so let's get this uh let's get this doing something i'm just gonna copy what i have for the lightsaber because for right now, it's going to do exactly that. Exactly what the lightsaber is doing. So the delay... On the lightsaber is 0.26. So this should be... Longer, say 4. And 
probably, I think, let's change the attack cost. The attack cost should be like two, since it's more powerful. Melee object, where are we? Okay, I'll have to figure out where that's being. So hide the held weapon, okay. Start swinging. To this. Okay, I think this is good enough. Where am I specifying this melee object? Not in here. All right, well, see you, man. Wacko God. Wacko, Yakko, and Dot. my knee and cat. Oh, what the fuck? How'd you dodge that? Be 
These are not the weapons I desire. I want no weapons. Ah, here we are. Here's the chainsaw. See it? It's there. Whoa. Okay, this is not... ...drawing the correct... Saved. So let's go to the next level. So this saves it. Okay. Uh, all right, so let's figure out what's going on here. <sighs> I think it has to do with this, maybe. Lightsaber ammo. What is what is lightsaber ammo? Oh, it's this. Something, there's something I was doing it was very specific to the lightsaber. I was doing it somewhere. I can't remember if it was in the player. It may have been. I think when I assigned. Let's see. Lightsaber. have this problem it draws the wrong draws the wrong thing oh I think I know I know where it is it's in the draw player weapon script I was doing something special to handle yeah see okay so if the weapon is not empty sprite doesn't equal melee So, 
because I wanted the lightsaber to animate, and as the weapons are drawn, and they're not animated, they're, they're just single sprites, they're sub-images, so I had to do something tricky with the lightsaber to get it to do what I wanted. Um, so what am I doing here? Draw a sprite. I think I'm just gonna leave the lightsaber the way it is. I need to do an extra check. Uh, let's see, sub image, so weapon. I need to check this. This equals. not drawing my beautiful ch chainsaw. Plus, it's using up all the mana. I don't know what that's about. Something, something fishy is going on here. Also, I noticed something else that was wrong. It's gun pickup. I think I should do this check first. So if the weapon sprite equals melee and it's zero, then do this.
drawing, so I think the only question is, is this like, is this how we want him to be holding the chainsaw? Looks like he's holding a hair, a hair dryer. backwards. You mean the sprite should be drawn at 45 degrees? I think I'll just, uh, programmatically to have it look like a scythe with the handle. Might just be easier. Well, let me see if I can angle this. Yeah. Let's, uh... Let's just... Let's keep it as it was. So, let's, um, so we're going to have to go back into that script.
Thanks, Dark Phoenix. I'm super tired. So I might need to subtract if it's... Yeah, let's subtract, actually. Yeah, yeah, I think that should be right. That's for the offhand. So now what we need to do is... Uh, see ya, Emerald. Thanks for stopping by. We need to... Uh, do some checks to see, uh, I don't know, there might, this might end up being the only weapon that we do this for, but, uh, let's check, let's check Pointing straight ahead, and it's uh.
going straight ahead. That's fine. He's facing this way, he's holding it like that. That's fine, I guess. That's pretty much how they do it in Nuclear Throne. It, it does kind of... Just 35. Let's try 35. Yeah, I'm probably gonna take a break soon. I got I haven't eaten anything today, so. <sighs> Fixing up this uh, attack is gonna will be a big process, so I think um I think I'll take a break and then come back and finish this uh, the attack portion because I got it looking the way yeah see I think I like that better yeah, yeah that, that looks better That looks good. 